My right hand is very important to me. If I woke up one day and just didn't have it, I'd be out of a job, which is terrifying. I've heard stories of people in school who say broke their dominant arm and ended up having to learn to write using their non-dominant hand. By the way, I thought it'd be a really cool experiment to give myself a month to try this out and see how far I get. Let's see it as a form of insurance in case something ever does happen to my right hand. So introducing the ambidextrous challenge. 28 days of suffering for your viewing pleasure. I haven't even started and I already hate it. Like, uh, my hand isn't touching the page. How do left-handed people do this? I don't like it. <laughs> uh, can't control the motion of the pen. <laughs> this is horrid. Oh, gross. So for week one, I did the basic letters of the alphabet over and over and over. I still can't really get over how much ink you get on your hand when you're writing with your lefty. How left-handed people got through school like this, I'll never know. Day one was not even worthy of a gold star, this looks terrible. But I kept at it, and by day seven, there's already a pretty noticeable difference. Yay. Yeah, I did the whole the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog sentence because that uses every letter of the alphabet, but I wrote it as jumps instead of jumps for the whole week, so that's like, minus a gold star. <laughs> but I guess just writing the alphabet over and over isn't going to help you write out actual sentences, so for week two, I decided to have a little fun with it and write out one song each day. This definitely helped my handwriting improve a lot faster, but it did get a little bit repetitive sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's all good and well using my left hand to write words, but really I'd have to be able to draw with it too in the event that righty here decides to go out for a pack of smokes one day. So day 15 to 18 was just me drawing whatever I felt like. Mostly Pokemon, what'd you expect? Some of them came out surprisingly well. Well, others. <laughs> <laughs> but the drawings were just something light to prepare me for the final 10 days. My 10 day project was to write the entire B-movie script. Uh, so day one of B-movie script is done. I hate myself. Ugh. I thought I was being funny, but the joke was really on me because I quickly realised that B-movie is no joke. That thing was nearly 50 pages! I spent like two to three hours a day on it! I feel like I'm missing a trick by not just titling the entire video something like Total Dunce writes the entire B-movie script with left hand. Go viral. So it was horrible. Uh. <laughs> Might actually cry. Look at the state of my hand. It's been like this every day for the past month. I ain't gonna miss that. But getting through the B-movie script and, well, all 28 days is a pretty big victory for me. I think it's probably the most disciplined I've been with anything ever. I didn't miss a single day. It's going right on the wall with some of my biggest achievements. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. I made a certificate for it. Take that rubbish off the wall. My favourite thing about this certificate is that I got it printed over a month ago and I just now realised that there are two typos on it. Complete eating. Lucy, are you okay? The PNG is in the description, so if you complete the challenge, then you can print your own certificate too! Being ambidextrous is about more than just writing and drawing with your non-dominant hand. It applies to other things like eating as well. So commonly, in the UK, your right hand is where the knife goes and left for the fork. If you try and switch them around, it just doesn't feel right. I say that, but apparently in the US you guys change what hands you use. Like, when you cut something, the knife goes in the right and the fork goes in the left, but then when you eat, you switch them around. Why? In fact, I think some people in the UK actually look down on you if you eat with a fork in the left and a knife in the right. I had this distinct memory of eating dinner with my grandma and I ate that way around and she told me to stop because it wasn't ladylike. My seven-year-old ego was hurt, so I just stopped eating that way around after that. But that was my preferred way of eating, and I remembered that switching hands felt really weird for a while. But I adapted to it. And I'd imagine that switching them back again now would be just as weird, but I'd probably adapt to it again. I think it's the same with writing or drawing as well. Being real, a couple hours a day for a month was never going to make me completely ambidextrous, but I've surprised myself with it. I feel like if I really tried over a long, long period of time, then I could get it to be somewhat even with my right hand. Probably not 100%, but not far off. 
It seriously spooked me that by the end, I couldn't really tell my left and right handwriting apart that much. The biggest difference is speed. They do look really similar, but the left side is still slow and it takes a lot more time and focus to really yield any results. But while on day one I could hardly control what direction the pen was going, my mind was screaming at me to switch hands. By the end it felt a lot more natural. If you want to try this out yourself then you've got to be careful to still use your dominant hand quite a lot during this, because I didn't and by the end of the challenge my brain was confused and my right hand started writing S's and Z's backwards. I don't have the time to commit to fully learning how to use my left hand but I'll probably use it every now and then to sort of maintain it. <sighs> Maybe I'll try writing with my foot next time. <laughs> That'll give rule 34 lots of work with. I mean, what? Hello. Long time no see. I've been a busy bee. <laughs> but this time featuring actual excuses. I was at VidCon London for a week. Then I went to China. Then I went on holiday with family. Then I got sick the first day there. That was a month ago and I'm still not over it. My tonsillitis came back and everything. It wasn't fun. But yeah, I hoped you liked the video. I'm really proud of it, okay? It was a mixture of animation and not animation, but I had a lot of fun making it. I called it the ambidextrous challenge because that way you can still do it if you're left-handed. Whoa! Also, I got Instagram now, yay. Thank you for the staggering patience. I'm hoping to be a little more regular with uploads on this channel and yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you, bye. Hello. So I finished the challenge about a month ago and I haven't touched it since then because no thank you. But I thought it would be funny if I did a little test to see if I actually can remember how to write left-handed or if it was all for nothing. Let's see. Oh, done. Have I gone downhill? Absolutely. <laughs> this is honestly better than I thought it would be, but probably not worth spending a month of your life on. Okay, bye for real.